guys and welcome back to my channel and today's video is going to be just a chit chatty video where I want to share some of my thoughts and opinions on a particular topic. Uh, there is no reason in specific. It's just that I want to share this insight that I personally kind of came across some time back because I think it's also going to be helpful and insightful for other people out there. So basically if the title did not tell you already what I'm going to talk about today is why my thoughts and opinions have changed when it comes to um, buying not I know the title is specifically US based but I'm talking about just international beauty products it can be Korean beauty products it can be um, European beauty products like from the UK and stuff it can be stuff from the US basically anything that is not easily available and accessible in India and anything that is from like other countries per se so um back in i want to say 2015 2016 when um you know the whole space when it came to um what was available in the indian market was very different i feel like there were a lot of brands like a lot of international brands that were a not available in india and when it came to the indian market per se the products that were available here were I want to say substandard as compared to what we have now. Now we have so, so, so much better stuff in the Indian market itself. But back then when I was new to the space, I really idealized a lot of things that were international standards, international quality from something like the IKEA organization system that again was totally not available at that time in India. And now obviously we have IKEA in India as well. Um, but back then, um, a lot of things were not really available accessible um, in India and that is one reason why I used to always kind of look forward to a time where I could go abroad um, and because I do have relatives abroad as well I was always like you know when I come like when I go to visit them I'm gonna have this whole huge shopping list and I'm gonna have so many things that I would want to buy from there um, and trust me my list was so so long like i probably could not even afford all those things but i still was like mujhe ye lena hai, mujhe wo lena hai. every aspect you know from skincare to makeup to clothes to even perfume like i was not really much into perfume back then but if i would have been um at least like the victoria secret stuff and even bath and body works for that matter was not available in india back then so i in every aspect had a very long list of things that were not available here and that I would have wanted to get when I go abroad. Um, fast forward a couple of years, I feel like more and more things started launching in the Indian market. Bath and Body Works came here. Victoria's Secret also I believe you can actually get like I feel like in even in terms of like e-commerce businesses now you have so many Instagram pages. You even have retailers like local retailers who have been importing stuff from other countries. So now a lot of stuff is really easily available and accessible here. Also, a lot of international brands have also launched in the Indian market from Ofra to Elf to Pixie Beauty to um, which other brands? Glam Glow. Um, there are so, so, so many Indian, um, there are so many international brands that are now easily available here in India. Now, of course, I'm not going to get into how the customs and the import fees kind of hike up the price. Like Elf abroad is like so inexpensive. It's like 400, 500 rupees if you convert um, the dollar into INR. So if you go there um, and you buy even in INR, um, it's still going to be so much inexpensive. Like the price is going to be significantly lower as compared to if you're buying L from Nika uh, without an offer. And I feel like even with offer, you're paying quite a significant like difference in terms of amount. So I'm not going to get into that because I feel like if we get into those things, I mean, this video is going to go into so many different directions. Uh, I also forgot to mention that there are a lot of brands that are not directly available through retailers. But again, Instagram retailers are totally a thing now. There are so many different Instagram pages from where you can also buy skincare that is not available in India officially. So like The Ordinary, for example, CeraVe, um, Cetaphil, I do believe is in available on like Nika and stuff and even other retailers. So I would not include that. The Inky List, um, Korean sunscreens. And uh, I think when we go into like K-beauty retailers, that's a whole different um, topic altogether. So again, if we try to like branch out and include every single thing, then this video is going to go into a lot of different directions. But uh, yeah, I'm not talking about anything that can easily be bought 
sitting in any part of india like um, if you can buy stuff online and you don't have to significantly work harder like for example technically i can totally buy stuff from like the sephora website or uh, unless like of course certain websites don't have international shipping so i'm talking about websites that do have international shipping technically i can sit here in any part of india and still buy it but uh, again with the whole import fees and with customs which is i think huge um for that reason you really don't know how much you're going to pay in customs so that's a little bit iffy so that's what i'm not talking about and um when it comes to any brand or any product that is not easily available you're in india indirectly directly of course it might be but indirectly if it's not available through other retailers that's what i'm talking about those are products that i have always kind of eyed and um, you know have wanted to get at some point and i used to always think that okay when i go to the us i will buy this this and this but recently i've actually realized that so many of these things a i do idealize but i don't need to because if you compare the ingredients list or the type of like usage for the product or whatever uh, i'll also give you a few examples to make my point but um if you just think about it you will realize that it's actually it's not necessary you can easily easily find an indian alternative or something that is very very similar to that particular product you're in the indian market and um, you don't have to wait to go abroad to buy it or ask someone to get that particular thing from you for a couple of reasons of course the primary reason is that um, you can easily find an indian alternative for it uh, the other reason is that what a lot of people don't realize is that sometimes when a product is like branded um, we think that oh this is the best quality and like the ingredients are of the best best quality and anything that is more affordable might not have as good of a quality but i think that's the reason why dupes and alternatives are so popular in the internet mainly because that's not the case when we make videos talking about dupes and alternatives we kind of want to put the message forward that um it's not the case a lot of times um you know the ingredients are after all coming from the same place a lot of times uh, different products might have different packaging but if you turn behind and if you see the ingredients list or if you see where they're manufactured from you will find that a lot of times products are manufactured at the same place they're just marketed by different companies the pricing might be similar or they might be different a lot of times they are different and that's why people do their own research and talk about like different kind of dupes and stuff because they truly are very 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 similar if not the exact same i do want to make um you know a few videos kind of talking about what i think are indian alternatives for some high end products to give you an example the tarte amazonian clay blushes were like the cult favorite youtube product when i started watching youtube and i have always always wanted to get those and i'm going to be completely honest it's not like i don't want to get those anymore i probably will at some point but until then i feel like there is an alternative of sorts that i have found here in the indian market which is so much more affordable and which is pretty damn similar to that if i'm being completely honest and i can easily just buy that and i'm like happy i don't feel like i necessarily need that and this also is the case for a lot of other products like some of the cult favorite loose powders um in the international market like the fenty beauty one like the laura mercier one like the um, even the new tatcha one uh what else um there are so many there are so many the cover effects one so there are so many loose powders the cat one d one as well and that have been in my sephora wish list for the longest time like i'm talking years like 4 or 5 years easily um of course the tata one and stuff is like new but i'm talking about like laura mercier cover effects even the cat one d one those have been on the market uh for a long 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 time and those have also been in my wish list for years and years and years but what i've realized that it's not about the um, outer packaging it's not about like of course if outer packaging is flimsy and it's going to like break easily uh it's not worth it but otherwise 
it's not really about the outer packaging and the brand name on a particular product it's more about what the actual product can do for you and how it is effective and it does the job so why does it matter if it's talked about on youtube or not why does it matter what the brand name says why does the price really matter does it have to be super expensive or can you easily find a drugstore or like affordable alternative for it that's something that we should all think about like truly 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 think about and i think that's why my perspective has shifted quite a bit now i don't care about if a product is hyped up on youtube or not if it does what i want it to do and um, it's it should be like what's the price um as well if it's like super expensive and i'm gonna have to repurchase it multiple times a year then i don't think i'd be okay with that if i'm being completely honest because that's a lot of money you're going to be shelling out so um yeah overall that's kind of how my again perspective has shifted and um, do let me know if you want me to like do more videos talking about like specific products which i feel are super duper hyped up in the um, international market in general and if there are indian alternative products that i have discovered and found and uh, are planning on purchasing or i already own in my existing collection that i'm very very happy with which is why i don't feel like i need to buy the international um, cult favorite product do let me know if you want me to do videos like those because uh, I do think it will kind of um bring more light to Indian products again I don't want to say that I mean of course I do unintentionally I am supporting the whole Make in India initiative and um supporting local brands initiative in a way but that's not the whole um motive of this i think that if there's something great that is easily available accessible and also affordable i definitely will support that but at the same time that doesn't mean that an indian brand can absolutely put anything on their label and create absolutely anything and i'm going to support all of it uh no that is not the case whatsoever but yeah that's it for the video i can continue blabbering for hours but i feel like i made my point across very well do let me know how you feel about this whole um, situation what are your thoughts and opinions i would love to get more insights and chat with you guys about this so if you have any thoughts and opinions to share with me then please please leave it down below in the comment section but yeah that's it for this video thank you so 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 much for watching you guys until next time bye bye bye